Hello, Micro here. Today I'll show you how to make Mass Effect 2 work with the program Enhance as there is no profile designed for this game yet. Right here you can see the settings that I am currently using and my PC specs and I'm getting just over 40 frames per second. Be sure to look in the description because I'll have a link for Enhance as well as a side-by-side -side comparison of these settings and a picture of everything set down to zero. So here we have Enhancer open already. And what you want to do is you want to look through these applications and see if there's the video game that you're looking for. We have Mass Effect, but we don't have Mass Effect 2, so we're going to have to create our own profile to run this application. So you come up here to the Paper with the Sun and click on it, and it starts us with a new application, and we'll call this Mass Effect 2. And the spelling doesn't matter at all, just as long as you know what it is. And now we're going to come down to this next paper with the sun on it so that we can tell Enhancer where to look for when this game starts. It's going to have to start Enhancer and have it run in the background. So we click on here, and first we're going to have to find the executable file. So we come over to the right to the file folder, and it shows us where we can look. And it's going to be under your hard drive, program files, x86 for a 64-bit um, operating system, Mass Effect 2, and binaries. There we go. And it's going to be this red Mass Effect 2. So you just double click on that and it adds it in. Now we're going to have to find the place to go for the launcher. We open this back up and we're going to have to go back a page and it's going to be right here, Mass Effect 2 Launcher. So these are both the red colored files and once we have that in there just go ahead and click OK. Now from here we're going to go to the compatibility mode. And we're going to tick this first one anti-aliasing compatibility and what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to select the right one. It's going to be an Unreal Engine 3 but we have to make sure to get the right one. It's going to be 08 zero one zero zero C five. So you click on that and then go back to enhancements. And we can click on the anti aliasing and most likely we're gonna run a one want to run multi sampling. And you can set this for most people probably four to eight is going to be good. Anistropic filtering let's set that at eight as well and vertical sync. Uh, Mass Effect 2 already has it enabled so we will go ahead and enable it in here also. Now these settings are going to be different for everyone depending on what your computer specs are. Um, if you have a higher screen resolution you're most likely going to have to set these down a little bit or if you have an older lower card you'll have to set these down a little bit. I wouldn't really recommend doing this on anything that's older than an 8800 NVIDIA. For me, I've got a Q6600, um, 4 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 260. And I can actually run it up at 16 and 8 with no problem at all. But you might just want to try it with 4 and 4 under multi-sampling and see how that goes. Now I've tried super sampling and cranking things up and I only got about 8 frames a second. You want to try to keep it up around 30 or higher if you can, especially because if you get in a battle, your frame rate is really going to drop. The game's going to be real jumpy, really hard to see. Mouse movement will slow down and everything like that. So start low, and then you can always raise it up and see if you like it more. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and good luck. And please be sure to rate and comment on this video.